एवरीवन माय सेल्फ डॉक्टर ग्रीष्मा टुडे आई विल बी डिस्कसिंग द कुहास क्वेश्चन पेपर सॉफ्ट डेंटल मटेरियल्स सो वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट एन इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक फ्रॉम द कंजर्वेटिव पार्ट ऑफ डेंटल मटेरियल्स दैट इज डेंटल सीमेंट्स सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड विद द एसए द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज एनुमरेट वेरियस डेंटल सीमेंट्स डिस्कस द कंपोजिशन एंड मैनिपुलेशन ऑफ जिंक ऑक्साइड यूज इन ऑल सीमेंट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी हैव टू राइट द क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ डेंटल सीमेंट्स as we know the dental cements are classified into various types so the dental cements classified based on composition use application and setting reaction so we have to write in detail about each and every classification then coming to the composition of zinc oxide eugenol cement the zinc oxide eugenol cement composed of powder and liquid form under the powder 69% of zinc oxide 29.3% of white prosin 1% of zinc stearate 0.7% of zinc acetate and magnesium oxide and liquid consists of 85% of eugenol and 15% of olive oil then second question is the composition and manipulation of zinc oxide eugenol then coming to the manipulation of zinc oxide eugenol it consists of powder liquid system and two paste system the powder liquid ratio is 4 is to 1 to 6 is to 1 by weight so we have to write in detail about each system and also includes the consistency and setting time of zinc oxide eugenol cement then the second question is classify dental cements discuss the types setting reaction advantage and disadvantage of zinc oxide eugenol cement so we have already discussed about the classification of dental cements so coming to the types of zinc oxide eugenol cement it is of four types type 1 is temporary cementation type 2 is permanent cementation type 3 is bases and temporary restorations and type 4 is cavity liners then coming to the setting reaction of zinc oxide eugenol cement In the first reaction hydrolysis of zinc oxide takes place the zinc oxide plus water gives zinc hydroxide the reaction proceeds as a typical acid base reaction so the zinc hydroxide plus eugenol gives zinc eugenolate plus water the chelate formed is an amorphous gel then coming to the advantage of zinc oxide eugenol cement it has a good dimensional stability it is inexpensive and other well to dental compound then coming to the disadvantages of zinc oxide eugenol it may irritating to soft tissue and inadequate working or setting time then coming to the short essay the first question is advantages of calcium hydro so the calcium hydroxide is also known as calcium hydrate caustic lime hydrated lime and slaked lime coming to the advantages it promotes healing and repair resorption and it is inexpensive and easy to use coming to the second question mta cement so first of all we have to write the full form of mta that is mineral trioxide aggregate then we have to write the composition types and use of mta coming to the composition mta is a mechanical mixture of three powder first is 75% of portland cement then 20% of bismuth oxide and 5% of gypsum the next is types of mta it is available in two types white mta and gray mta the gray mta is not used in anterior tooth because of the grayish dis- discoloration so coming to the use of mta it is used in direct pulp capping apexification apexogenesis and repair of perforations the third question is zinc phosphate cement so we have to write the write about the composition classification and use of zinc phosphate cement coming to the composition it consists of powder and liquid form so the powder consists of 90.2% of zinc oxide 8.2% of magnesium oxide 0.2% of other oxides and 1.4% of silica so liquid consists of 38.2% of phosphoric acid 36% of water 16.2% of aluminum phosphate 2.5% of aluminum and 7.1% of zinc then coming to the classification of zinc phosphate cement it may of two types type 1 is fine grain for luting type 2 is medium grain for luting and filling then coming to the use of zinc phosphate cement it is used in luting of restorations like inlays crowns fixed dental prosthesis and etc coming to the fourth question calcium hydroxide cement and its use we have already discussed about the calcium hydroxide and its advantages then coming to the use of uh, calcium hydroxide cement it is used in vital pulp therapy it includes direct pulp capping indirect pulp capping pulpotomy and apexogenesis then coming to the fifth question modified zinc oxide eugenol cement the modified zinc oxide eugenol cements are EBA alumina modified cements and poly- polymer reinforced so EBA alumina modified cements are available in white powder and a pinkish liquid form the use of EBA alumina modified cements are long term cementation temporary and intermediate restorations then coming to the polymer reinforced zinc oxide eugenol cement it may used as a base 
and uh, temporary filling materials and also used in looting agent so hope this was helpful for you guys thank you